What's up, Facebook family and friends, YouTube family and friends? I pray you're having a blessed day in the Lord. I'm thankful for this day. I have been going through many trials, many tests, as we all have. And we're living in the last days. We're living in Revelations. And we are going through the refiner's pot because our faith and our trial is more precious than gold. And we are going and being tried. Jesus was tried. The Bible says that he said that Satan felt nothing in him. Come on, somebody. And he defeated the enemy in the wilderness, in the Garden of Gethsemane, and on the cross. And he said that Satan felt nothing in him. And we are tried as the children of God. And it causes us to be more like him and to grow in our faith. And I want to encourage you to stand firm in the faith. The Lord began to minister to me out of Isaiah 7 and 9. And Judah was facing many enemies. And Samaria and um, different ones were uh, around them was against Judah. And they had enemies and they were under attack. And the Lord begins to speak through Isaiah. And he begins to say, um, Judah or Israel is no stronger than Samaria and Samaria and and the enemies around you are no stronger than each other and than the king but he's saying I am the higher power I am your strength and your source and the Lord was telling uh, them I can fight your battle and I will fight your battle but your part is to believe and to stand firm so I want to read this to you real quick I want to share this with you In Isaiah 7 and 9, it says, the Lord begins to speak to Isaiah and say, Unless your faith is firm, I cannot make you stand, and I cannot make you firm. So the Lord can and will fight our battles, but the Lord can't make us stand and believe. Believing and standing firm is our part. And 1 Corinthians 16 and 13, it says, Watch ye and stand in the faith. Quiet you like men and be strong. Ephesians 6 and 11 tells us to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to be able to stand in the evil day and against the wiles of the devil ephesians 6 and 13 says put on the whole armor of god not just part of it but the whole armor of god that you have done all to stand in first corinthians 15 and 58 be steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain so when we go through these tri trials and through these battles and storms and through the things that the children of God are facing, we know that our labor is not in vain. If we do our part and if we stand firm in the faith and believe, the Lord will move for on our behalf. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. I've never seen their um, seed begging for bread. He has never lost a battle. The Lord is undefeated and he wants the glory for moving in our life. He can move in any situation when it seems impossible with people because people are limited. But God is not limited. God can do all things and he can do the impossible in your life. Just like he did for Lazarus. He was already dead and he was dead for four days. But Jesus came and done the impossible and the glory of God was displayed that day. And he called Lazarus his name out come on somebody uh, call out, out out on the Lord and let him call your name out and I want to encourage you to stand firm in the faith no matter the situation God is able but do your part and stand firm in the faith don't let the enemy knock you down and shake you you know the people of God in the word of God they were tried to and it says that Job through all he went through he did not sin against the Lord nor charge God foolishly the Bible says that Abraham believed the Lord and it was considered as into him righteousness. When the Hebrew boys were facing a fiery furnace, they said, we will not bow even if our, our God is able to deliver us. But even if he don't, we will never worship your, your idol. And uh, the Bible says that Daniel, he said, my God is able to deliver me. And the Bible says that the Lord went and he shut the lion's mouth and the king Darius ran uh, to the to the cave to the lines and he cried out to Daniel did your God delivered you and Daniel cried out long live the king my God delivered me so he can do the impossible in your life stand firm in the faith God bless you all